What if I told you that mental strength is not something that you are born with and it can be trained? Your mental strength can be increased if you are willing to put in the work for it. You may be in a state of despair, fear, pain, or any other bad emotion, but just know that you are in this state because of the mental habits you have. Let me break down how we are going to achieve mental strength. The first step is to quiet down your mind. This helps lessen the chaos and all the mental garbage that's plaguing your mind. Sit down quietly and start observing your thoughts. Don't try to control anything. Depending on the intensity of your mental chatter, you may be pulled back into your own thoughts. But as soon as you realize this, come back to observing your thoughts. Just keep silently observing and eventually, with practice, you would have reduced your mind activity. Do this meditation regularly and sincerely. Now that you have a bit more awareness of your mind, we shall proceed to have mental strength training sessions. But the first session I am going to speak about may not be what you are expecting to hear. You see, part of what made Batman is the physical training that I had undergone. Similarly, you must have a fitness goal and try to achieve that. When you become more fit, such as improving your running timings or being able to do more pull-ups, your body releases endorphins and serotonin. You will naturally have a better mood. The next session, I'm about to instruct you about may be simple, but it's a profound practice. Have a mental challenge of not indulging in any negativity for a set period of time. When your mind starts the negative chatter, shift your attention to something else. You can have a mantra or a set of soothing affirmations that you can say whenever you find yourself about to be pulled into a negative inner conversation. Now, what happens when you stop focusing on your negative thoughts? Well, they slowly dissipate. If they have no attention given to them, they have no power over you. Now for the next session, what if I told you that you have to stop being serious and be like a child? I would advise you to do daily practices of gratitude. Find things to be grateful for and write them down in a journal. Apart from that, find things to appreciate in your environment. If you see a really nice looking building, appreciate its architecture. If there was a waiter that was kind to you, appreciate his actions in your mind. The most potent form of appreciation is the appreciation of self. Can you appreciate yourself for being more goal oriented? Or maybe you achieved an exercise goal that you had been working towards. Keep finding things to appreciate and good feelings will generate within yourself as a result of this continued appreciation. This will show yourself that you can indeed change the way you feel and are not swayed by the vicissitudes of life. For the next session, you have to have a pen and paper because we will be going more deeper. Reframe the story that you tell yourself. This calls for self-awareness. What are the troublesome thoughts and beliefs that occur in your life? Write them down. Now, for every thought you wrote down, find the opposite positive thought. So if you wrote, I find it hard to stand up for myself, you can have an empowering thought that says, I have a strong sense of myself and assert myself confidently. Now, you might not believe the statement at first, but through repetition of this in a meditative state, a new belief will be created. You may find this journey of mental toughness to be challenging, and you may feel like giving up, but let me remind you that you can have a different perspective on this. Can you think of a certain time when you were under great mental distress and you were able to survive that ordeal? Use that as your beacon of hope. Let it be a reminder that you have pulled through before and can do it again. I urge you to take this advice and practice it regularly. You will definitely become your version of a superhero. I'm going to leave you with a bunch of affirmations. I hope you find strength and inspiration from them. The night is darkest just before the dawn, and I promise you the dawn is coming. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Why do we fall? So that we can learn to pick ourselves back up. I have one power. I never give up. Whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you stronger.